So as you can see, we actually are on PC. If I go ahead and hit the escape button over here, boom, it brings up the menu. I can move around my mouse if I want to use that. But I don't want to use that, so I'm going to use the controller, as we can see. All you want to do is, before you start up the game you want to play, you simply need a cable. So a cable like this, I'm going to disconnect this real quick, and it's going to say controller disconnect, obviously. But here's what you need. Your Xbox controller, which will be turned off at the current time, and you need a cable like this. Simply, if you own an Android phone, the Android like connector little bit right here that connects into your phone automatically goes with the Xbox One controller anyway. All right. So all you need is this, and you need to plug the one in into your Xbox controller. All right. Boom. And you need to plug the other end into your computer. Boom. Once you do that, the controller will turn on like so. And as you can see, I'm moving around in the game with the controller. Be warned, however, once you do this, uh, once you you cannot unplug the controller. If you unplug the controller, it's going to disconnect and it's going to flash, okay? All right? So the other thing is once you do this, you're going to have to pair it back up to your Xbox One. So keep that in mind. Every time you use this on the computer and you disconnect it from the USB cable, you have to repair it back to your Xbox One. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's how to use an Xbox One controller on a computer without the wireless adapter. And I'll see you guys next time.